There will be a day when God causes you to forget. God is going to make up for the circumstance in such an amazing way that you're not going to remember the pain of the past. You're not going to wake up thinking about who hurt you, you're going to wake up thinking about how blessed you are. You're not going to go through the day, feeling discouraged by the loss, and with that heaviness. God is going to turn things around to where all you can think about is how grateful you are. You're going to have a deep satisfaction and a joy that you can't explain. God opens doors no man can shut. That means even if someone doesn't like you, even if they do their best to discredit you, they may try to close the door, but you can stay in peace knowing that they don't have the final say. There are certain doors God has already ordained to open of their own accord. People can't stop them. Here's the key, you and God are a majority. What he has destined for your life will override anyone or anything trying to stop you. Even if someone is against you, they can't keep you from getting to where you're supposed to be. When this storm is over, you're not going to be defeated. You're going to rise up healthy, blessed, and prosperous. You're not going to look like what you've been through. Nobody is going to be able to tell that you went through a difficulty. What I love about God is he doesn't just bring you through the storm, he makes the enemy pay for bringing the trouble. Something happens in the struggle when your mind says it's never going to work out, but in your heart, you know what God promised is on the way. Your mind says you're wasting your time, there's no use believing. But you just keep on keeping on, doing the right thing, trusting God, and thanking Him that's it's on the way. That's sustaining faith. Don't expect everything to be easy, don't expect everyone to be for you. If it hasn't happened yet, that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. The victory is on the other side of the opposition. It takes staying power, it takes a made-up mind, it takes someone that's not moved by the circumstances. Stay in peace, knowing that God wouldn't have allowed it if he wasn't going to use it for your good. It may not feel good, but this is where you have to show God what you're made of. Anyone can be happy when things are going their way. Anyone can thank God when doors are opening, but if you want to pass this test and see God's favor in new ways, you have to thank him when it doesn't work out. You have to have a smile when you could be complaining, be good to others when someone is not being good to you. This is what faith is all about. Sometimes the enemy celebrates too soon. He doesn't realize you're down, but you're not out. You had a setback, but really, it's setting you up. He thought that disappointment would cause you to be frustrated and give up on your dreams. He thought that bad break would cause you to stay sitting in the ashes, discouraged and bitter. He didn't know that when you got knocked down, you would get back up again. He didn't know that instead of complaining, you would start praising. He may be celebrating now, but don't worry, your time is coming. Right now, God is arranging things in your favor. God says, God won't walk away when you mess up. You will never be alone as long as you have God. He promised never to leave you nor forsake you. If you have him, that's all you need. Type yes if you believe. 
Too much talk leads to sin. Be sensible and keep your mouth shut. Bible verses that will cheer you up. Psalm 23, you're going to make it, trust me. Romans 8:18, 8, the pain that you've been feeling can't compare to the joy that is coming. 2 Kings 2 colon 5, I have heard your prayer, I have seen your tears, surely I will heal you. John 13 colon 7, Jesus replied, You do not realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Comment Amen if you believe it. Loving God means obeying Him no matter the cost. God, when my lips no longer know what to ask for in prayer, please hear my heart. Because of God, you are strong, not weak. You are chosen, not rejected. You are wise, not foolish. You are fearless, not afraid. You are loved and cared for, not abandoned. Comment Amen if you believe it. In six months, you will be sitting in your new car, outside your new home, admiring your six-figure bank account. Dear Lord, whenever I am afraid, I trust in you. Because I know that you will be with me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I shall not be shaken. So do not fear, for I am with you, do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Imagine Jesus whispering this to you. It wasn't for nothing. Everything that you've been through, it wasn't for nothing. I created you with a purpose. Even through the darkest valley. You continued to love me and follow me. And I will bless you. Comment Amen if you believe. I wait for the Lord. My whole soul waits, as I hope in his word. God says, I am going to do something so big in your life that it will shock your enemies and rock your world. Don't quit. Don't give up. Ephesians 3.19 May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Out of the lion's mouth would I take you from, with no wounds to be found because you trusted me. Your greatness is coming alive. Your light is shining brighter. Nothing or nobody can stop what's meant for you. Move towards your vision and save this post to receive. Drop a 4 for 4 to claim it. Acts 2.38 Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Comment Amen if you believe in Jesus.